Welcome to the 15th tutorial on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. So, filling up on a couple of parts within twin motion that I missed last time, this time around, we will be doing panorama export. Quite similar to the media export such as video and image, this tool can be found within the media option of the dock, which is the one right here. But first, what do we mean by panorama? A panorama is a picture representing a continuous scene or an unbroken view of an entire surrounding area. Thus, that is what we'll be doing right now. First, let's position our camera view somewhere that would be an awesome scene for us. Alright, so I think this would be a good scene, but let's give it a try. For now, much similar to the image export, we can do so by clicking the panorama right here. And again, much similar to everything else, we can do much more by clicking the menu here by either renaming, deleting, duplicating, or pressing the refresh icon right here if we want, if we, if we want to refresh the current position of our scene like so. All right, so next we will be exploring the more options. We've got the render settings here to play around with. We can toggle the path tracer like so, or clicking the R button right here, like just like that. And for a simplified choice, we can choose either low, medium, or high. I think I'm currently using high. If I were to go to medium, it should become lower and faster like that, as you see here. Or you can do it manually by increasing the SPP or the sample pixel here like so, but I usually like to make mine just medium, should be good enough for me, and see how fast it renders compared to the unrendered one. And much like in the setting option, if I were to click here to go back, we've got the lighting option right here to play around with. We've got a location, so we can easily change the time of day, the month, or even the location of the sun like so. And if I were to go up right here, we can change the background to something, whatever we want. All right, so let's go back here in the original position like so. We've also got the weather to play around with. We can change the weather style, the season. We can even put some time frame growth for our vegetation like so. And we've got other effects here especially the ocean that I like to play around with sometimes. If I were to increase like here, okay. We can even change the aspect of the ocean. Okay, so let's go ahead and toggle this off. Going back here, we've got the camera lastly to play around with. I just play around with the depth of field here. Also, the visual effects, one of the things I like. There. And we've got filters here. I usually like the this one. Kind of looks like a draft of a canvas. Okay, so now once we're satisfied with our panorama settings, we can click here by quitting the media mode and going to the export. Here in panorama, select the panorama that we want. After that, just click Start Export. Now, once it's done, the outcome should look something like this series of pictures that you'll see right now. And that's it for this tutorial. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.